It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others.
Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. Just I do not believe we have need to fear our trouble. guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He Just fully believed Earth was old, destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always Trump assumed leaders. that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If Never you can believe, entire like generations before. have been born, again, lived, and died on this ship. Arrived. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting. So, here we are. Let's talk. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, Work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such, but initially I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. The Constant is a peaceful ship. trained to address threats coming from outside the ship. Your file says you're a professor? I hated that. You didn't do that. You're in the Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Excuse me. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from the time.
Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Hope you're staying safe out there. I just feel that we should be on, focusing mate. on the Loads natural beauty of this planet. Outside. Not I, need to... I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Despicable? Hardly. Just a backup plan in case we can't get them to leave. But you're right. No one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> and which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. Facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Yes? Parity, so security is only here for your safety.
rifle waving that fancy gun around. We got strict rules around here. They're strict. Now that we know what's out there, things are gonna be more interesting. We didn't believe anyone would be No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. What's the good word? Then I'd need to know what that catch is before I could form an opinion. That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems... agreeable. Is that all? I'm not sure what we can spare. I'm thinking. Perhaps there are resources in storage we can scrounge up or recycle. You're welcome to try to wear me down. Nobody wants that. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Tell you what, talk to Daisuke and he'll get you what we can spare. If you succeed, we'll see about finding some other ways to repay you as well. Thank you. Safe travels to you. I've never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen a ship. Hi there. Oh! <laughs> um. Nice to meet you. And that's true. As you can imagine, everyone kind of just knows each other around here. Meeting new people isn't really a thing for us. Yeah, I know. It's funny, though. All our lives, nothing could prepare us for this. We were born into a universe where we legitimately thought we were the only people in existence. Anyway, sorry for freezing up before. I just didn't expect our visitor from the outside to stop by and chat with me. I figured, if anything, you'd be with the captain. I'm Dice K, the ship's provisions manager. I'm not sure what I can offer you, but if I can help, I will. And if not, I'm happy just to talk. Oh yeah, she sent me a message. I have everything for you right here. It's all we can spare, so I sure hope you come through for us. Need anything else? Be seeing you. I've lived my entire life in the Constant. I'm not sure how long. And to think all this time, Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work. to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills. I told you. Don't Look forget, this place we sell all types of raw right? materials as well. Why would some Welcome. Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new exactly. face. I can't believe...
believe this place is still open. I give it a few more. I'm afraid it is. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. That would be a blessing, my friend, but I wouldn't want to impose. Certainly, my friend. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. It's a wonderful day, my friend. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. Take it. Yeah, what? Yeah? All right, smartass, let's cut the bullshit. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Now that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make some money, so what'll it be? Now we're getting somewhere. Fully stocked, and let me know if we can make a deal. Thanks for stopping by our shop. I heard the shortages over a line medical. Not great. Dark Nanny better get You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Hello there! Let me know if you need anything. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Great. I'll bring the blend. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, Ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Am I? Forgive me. I tend to forget how annoying that can be. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Absolutely! Here's everything I currently have in stock. I just 
Constant is a peaceful ship. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew it. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Oh, right -o. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship then. Because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take that trouble. Hot. Not in a bad way, though. So this is what fresh air is like. I could get used to this. I did it. How exciting it is to be the captain who finally brought us to our new home. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we, we might still be stuck. Up there. Once again, 
thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your name will go down in our history books. You will always be welcome as a friend to our people.